Good morning, Miss Lucy. What a beautiful morning it is out there, Miss Maria. The sun is sure smiling, isn't it? Why, yes. The sun happily greeted everyone this morning. The clouds are racing, not even a tear in the sky. I know. The sky is so calm, and the colorful leaves are jumping from the branches and dancing around the streets. Isn't it so pretty? What? Dancing? Jumping? Smiling? They can't do that. You're right, Peter. It's called personification. Personification? What's that? It's when you give human-like qualities to something that isn't human, like an object, animal, or even an op- idea. Okay, but when can I use it? You can use it in a poem, story, or daily communication. Figurative language such as personification doesn't have a literal meaning behind it. It's a phrase or a statement that creates a visual, giving a deeper meaning behind the words. Can you give me an example, Miss Lucy? Of course. Like the wind coming in from the window over there, making a loud noise. This action can be described like the wind howls through the window angrily. Even though the wind can't actually howl or be angry, giving something human-like qualities helps others visualize the action. Do you understand now, Peter? Yes, I understand. Can I use personification in my poem? I think that would be a great idea, Peter. Yay, my pencil will be racing across the paper. I will add personification to our next class. Then we can get a little bit more practice. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you then, Peter. Created using Powtoon.